Yeah, so we kind of stumbled upon this um, discovery by accident, to be honest. Um, so I, when I was working on my PhD um, at Guelph, I was working with um, hibernating bumblebee queens. So queen bumblebees that were, uh, we were hibernating in a refrigerated unit in the lab. And um, the there has been condensation in that fridge and water just formed and started melting uh, in the tubes that were housing those pieces. And so one day I um, I came to check on the bees and the, those tubes were completely filled with water. Um, I was sure that the queens were dead, but then when I drained the water, I realized that they were still alive. So that was a big surprise and that's where the, the research started. So from then, um, we decided to test it because it was only at first it was only for bumblebee queens. So we wanted to be sure that this was really a thing that bumblebee queens were able to um, resist being submerged underwater. Um, so we set up this experiment with uh, 143 bumblebee queens that were uh, hibernated uh, in a fridge, and then we added um, water in the tubes in which the queens were hibernated in um, to, uh, well, to see whether they would resist. So we tried three different um, submersion uh, regimes. So either queens that had no water added to the tubes, we had queens in which we had water, but the queens were floating at the surface. And then we had queens that we completely pushed underwater to maintain them um, for three different durations. So eight hours, 24 hours and seven days. This is a very encouraging um, discovery because bumblebees are already facing so many threats that if we are able to cross that one from the list because uh, we know that they are able to survive and we'll probably do fine.